If you're suffering from trochanteric bursitis of the hip, what is it and how can you get over it? I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine expert. I share sports, exercise, and health information as well as stories from some of the world's best athletes and coaches to help you become a champion in sports, business, and life. Trochanteric bursitis is extremely common in the adult population. Quite simply, this is an inflammation of the bursa on the outside of your hip. There's a bony prominence sort of on the outside of our upper thigh. If you feel out there, you can feel it. Right on top of that bone, there's basically what's called a bursa or a fluid-filled sac. And that bursa, we all have them, is to help prevent friction from the tendons that rub across that bone you know, so that they basically don't wear out and, and tear the tendons. So that bursa is sort of a, a almost a shock absorber. Most people it's paper thin and is kind of not doesn't really play any real role. It just doesn't bother us. But in some people that bursa can get inflamed and swollen and start to hurt. So you end up having pain on the outside of your hip, not in your groin and not in your buttock, but out on the outside of your hip. A lot of times it hurts if you push right on that bony prominence, or it may be pain in certain positions right there. You see it in active people, but you can see it in people that aren't terribly active as well. Now, fortunately, in the vast majority of the people, and I, I don't know the numbers, but I'd probably say 98%, you don't need surgery to overcome this. When you go see the doctor, they may get x-rays to make sure something else is going on, but x-rays don't typically show this, and you don't typically need an MRI for it. Usually, the physical exam combined with what your symptoms are are enough to sort of clue the, the orthopedic surgeon or the doctor into this being what you have. And there's a few things we talk about in terms of treatment. Sort of the most conventional that's been going on for a long time is injecting cortisone directly into the bursa. Now, there's a lot of concerns about cortisone, say, into the knee and into the shoulder, but we're not injecting it into the hip joint, just into that bursa to bring down the inflammation. And that can be fairly effective, although sometimes it comes back weeks and months later. Another thing that can be helpful is working with a physical therapist on stretching some of the muscles and tendons that rub right over that area, and that can be helpful to sort of relieve the problem in a long-term sense. Sometimes anti-inflammatory medications, sometimes even just ice to that area after you've done a grueling workout that sort of aggravates that. But that type of thing, physical therapy and home exercises for stretching and strengthening, ice, anti-inflammatories and, and possibly injections usually are enough to get you better. Hopefully that's enough to get you better. Maybe we'll show some exercises in one of my exercise videos where I show you some exercises for trochanteric bursitis. Click the link below though if you want another video that can really help you. Make sure to subscribe for tons of great videos that can help you become a champion in what you love to do.